And here we are again for another little dinner chit chat. American Indian chit chat. I suspect this will be a rather short video. Um, just feel a little bit overdue. Uh, and this is like an open uh, d discussion, uh, shall we say, we're calling all the ancestors to guide the way, as always. Uh, oops, excuse me. Uh, so, as you can see, we're at the same location we were last time. Uh, that is near, I believe this is, this is St. Vincent's Hospital, but we're on Greenwich and 7th Avenue. So, uh, in New York, Algonquin Territory. <laughs> uh, what I think, you know, the topic will always be some uh, aspect of sovereignty, Indian sovereignty, American Indian sovereignty. And I have to say that lately, you know, as I peep some of the videos in uh, uh, Indian YouTube, I, I feel like perhaps I'm seeing, uh, well, I thought I just saw a roach. A very fast one. Uh, the rats are one thing, but uh, them roaches is another thing, and they're both uh, unwelcome, uh, shall we say. Um, yeah. So, the ongoing topic is American Indian sovereignty, and what I see lately in a few videos that I've watched on YouTube is that I, I guess I feel like I'm, I'm starting to hear a little more of what I had hoped to hear. Um, and what I'm hearing that I think we we should talk about more and more is the separation of American Indians from this colonizer system. And I'm talking about a separation that is total and complete. Um, the example I wanted to give that I, you know, it's, it has been in my mind is a great example. And the example is simply looking at the misclassification of American Indians. Now, thankfully, the ancestors are making us very aware of what misclassification did to us. So, what I was inspired by the ancestors to talk about tonight is the, the, the way a misclassification works. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the basic way a misclassification works is that once you name it, Basically, you have the authority to do as you will with it. So once again, Indians do understand the workings when it comes to us being reclassified as we know, colored, Negro, black, 
And unofficially, we are uh, persuaded to see ourselves as African American. So, again, we are very clear of the damage that a misclassification has done to us. Indeed, it put us at the bottom of a hidden in plain sight caste system, and we ignorantly took on these labels. I, how long has it been? I guess, oh, maybe since the, I guess since the, uh, the federal uh, census, perhaps, 1790. Uh, I mean, because the words were being thrown around, I, I, I believe, until it finally landed in a federal census. So, what do I hope to accomplish in this short video? What I want to point out to American Indians who are truly about their birthright. What I want to point out to you is you must extend your knowledge of what a renaming and a misclassification has done to you to see what it will do and does and did to the renaming or the naming of anything on our landmass, like states, for instance. Like naming a constitution a constitution, for instance. Um, like renaming a corporation into a person. Once the renaming takes place, an authority is created. Again, we see it happening as it did to us once we were renamed colored, Negro, Black, African American. We know what it did to us. Why don't we understand what it has done to the land? What it has done in the world of uh, le the legal world, shall we say. Every word has come from your colonizer. Indeed, the colonizer has even went as far as to copyright some of these words. Um, so what am I saying? I'm saying this is why we must abolish the entire legal system. We did not name it did not create it. Those who did will always have jurisdiction over them, authority over them. The game we are in is called the name game. The five, fat, phono, both, final, whatever. It is the name game. And we must get very serious about the name game. What the name game requires is that you name everything pertaining to you and your birthright, including your land. I am moved to speak on this because I, although I'm seeing some positive uh, changes in the outlook of, of Indians who are now speaking more along the lines of the government um, and so there's an understanding now that for instance a 501c3 makes you property it gives the, the government authority over you. I don't care how dedicated you are 
to the American Indian cause, you are a slave. You are property owned by that which created you. Every corporation, let's say it together, every corporation is a creation of colonization or the colonizing entities. We learn that the Pope is in charge of all corporations ultimately with the power to dissolve them if they are found to be operating unjustly, unlawfully outside of the scope of what they were created to do. That is all well and good, but for Indians, what I'm calling for is a an overhaul of the entire system. We don't have to call it a corporation. In fact, it would be in our best interest to rename whatever uh, mode of exchange that we begin to engage in on our land with each other. With each other. Once it is established that it is the Indians who own this land, we will begin to basically trade with each other goods, services, and it will be all outside of the scope of the colonizer de facto corporation. We don't need you to regulate our trade on our land. And when it comes to the high seas, well, consider our contract null and void those of you who call yourselves regulating commerce, you did much more than that. You went way outside of your limitations and you pulled us into a lesser jurisdiction than the birthright that we had. Trust is broken. Any Indian who feels that we need to resurrect anything colonizer has built had better rethink that you can as easily create your own thing we can agree to that thing what we must all agree upon is that it is not a creation of this federal entity occupying our land and terrorizing american indians on an ongoing, unending, well-planned-out basis. We are peaceful American Indians. We don't advocate violence, I will say that. We advocate doing what is right when you are on our land dealing with us until you no longer find it profitable to take advantage of us. How do they take advantage of us? They take advantage of our numbers. They say that we are the ethnic group that spends the most in their system. You'd think they'd appreciate that. However, what we might conclude is that we spend more because it costs us more. By and large, we are spending more than any other ethnic group on our land. Why? Because we are the American Indians who are being constantly, constantly cheated, constantly treated unjustly, unfairly, everywhere we look. How do you open up a business on my ancestral land and then look at me side-eye when I walk into your establishment. If you don't want me in it, you can pack up and go home. Yeah, how's that for a clue?
it is not as hard as we think. Why? Because our possibilities are endless. The sky is the limit. And what we say is the word, is the law of the land. We have a right to extricate ourselves from this oppressive system. How long did they think this would go on exactly? I like to reiterate that the system is so unjust and so unfair that even after the heathen American Indians converted to the religions that you required we be, as I always say, we never, we were never given back what belongs to us. In fact, over time, we just became more and more, more and more disenfranchised. All manner of discrimination against us. Just institutionalized dis discrimination. So much so that it almost seems normal for us to walk around feeling, expecting discrimination. Can you feel a brand new day? Because that's what is on our horizon. We don't mean anyone harm. Unfortunately, they have met us with harm. And now they think, do they entertain that they will threaten us even now? Even now, as we know, how deceitfully you've dealt with us? Would you be so brazen as to attempt to, to, to speak against us as we extricate ourselves? We have a God-given right to defend ourselves against genocide. The doctrine of discovery has been denounced. The doctrine of discovery has been denounced. The doctrine of discovery has been denounced. There is no longer justification for this ongoing genocide mission. We demand a return of our lands. If you want something we have, like everybody else in any other reality, you have to pay for it. What you did was you took our profits. You made yourself fat and wealthy off of our backs. And you must have said to yourself, ah, they have all this land. Why shouldn't we just take it? What gives you the right? When you're so unrighteous to begin with, what gives you the right to steal? from innocent people. Well, what exactly uh, kind of world do you think we live in? This level of, of outright wickedness is just insane. But the universe is such that it is time for Indians to take back their birthright and I do mean all of it. We don't even have a reason to want to share with thieves. We, we don't have a reason. Again, if there's something they need that we have, it is only right and just that you pay us for it. And we're not talking about your fiat. We'll decide what we want in return. We definitely don't want something you created because there you go again, thinking that that pulls us into your jurisdiction, under your authority. No, we won't have that anymore. We require our land back, all of it. And if you just 
are just so uh, dedicated to, to being on our land. Unfortunately, you have to now deal with us. All those who just thought America was a free-for-all. We have the Moors uh, pushing a, a, a narrative that this land was totally uninhabited. Yeah, so then why would you need to oppress me upon it? Why would you need to do that? If this land was uninhabited, you wouldn't need to oppress me because it would be evident that this land was uninhabited. But you see, that's a lie. That's a lie. Luzia has proven that there was a Negro, quote-unquote, presence upon this land before Siberians appeared. And they even tried to lie on Luzia. My God. Do the lies ever end. My God. What is up with that? Everything is twisted in an unjust system. Truth is twisted into a lie and a lie is twisted into the truth. But now I'm hearing Indians understanding that we have to get out. Get out. All the way out. Those Indians who want 501c3s, you choose your own fate. But you will not have more authority on the land than Indians who are not attached to this corporation. You will be a lesser of oh no. There is no freaking way you can think that you have the same authority as birthright Indians when you're sucking on colonizer tit. You need to go follow your colonizer back home. And I do mean his home. If you're that blind to what is going on here. Everything the colonizer has created must go. This is our birthright privilege to end our own demise. Um, what does this look like? What it looks like, no laws on this land apply to American Indians. None of them, not one. The authorities have no right to stop us. We're gonna make our own IDs, y'all. I know that that's what we must do because that is what the state nationals did. When you stand up on your own two feet, under your own authority, your God-given birthright authority, you have the right to create a valid ID for yourself. You have the right to create what you can use in place of a license. Not that you need one. Basically, it's a piece of paper telling them to step off. Okay? And we don't have to be called or hauled into their courts. We will have our own courts. And this is a, might be a source of worry for some of you. How do we run our courts? I'll tell you how. Any way you want. How, how about that? Any way you want. Now, we will be fair. We, we don't want to continue in what was done to us, do we? But we will be fair. We will be fair. But we will have the power to send people home, y'all. That's what I, this is what it's all about. I'm not saying that we just, you know, start displacing people like overnight and all of that. But they will need to decide if they can even stay in an America that is dominated by American Indians. 
because we do have a right to dominate our land, y'all. I don't know who told the Moors and his colonizer buddies that they have a right or had a right to take everything from us and then attempt to get rid of us. That is, that is called criminal. That is called unrighteous for, for all the religion that they push. You'd think they'd have an ounce of righteousness in their body. My gosh. It was wrong, y'all. And some Indians want to say that we deserve this. Not even the lowest creature on earth deserves this treatment. It was wrong, y'all. There is nothing we did to deserve being completely genocide off the face of the earth. I I'm very sorry that some Indians feel that this is God's will. Yeah, well, which God are you serving? Because if you're serving colonizer God, well, no wonder. No wonder. No wonder. So, what does uh, Indian birthright sovereignty look like? It looks like legal leashes out the window. All legal dictionaries have, are void for fraud. We did not define those words. They were redefined in order to what? Genocide us, American Indians. We don't have to accept that kind of uh, law. No, it, it was wrong from the beginning. Coming in here, getting jiggy with the languages, taking alphabets uh, from our, our system, and then what? Just making up words and defining them as you like? That's not how it works. On our landmass, we have a right to define words and use them as we will. Not, not an oppressive uh, colonizing entity. So legalese is a thing of the past. All the laws, in the, uh, even the Constitution ones, are a thing of the past. The, the contract was, was breached, y'all. If we didn't wake up, we, if we didn't wake up, who woke us up? It wasn't the corporation, right? No, no, the hell it wasn't. In fact, the corporation is still acting like we're, we're not here, even now. Even now. They pump their negative news and talk about their sorry-ass uh, lesser of two evil presidents. How can we... We... See, even I forget that this is not a system for me. So, how come they can never get a, a uh, good uh, uh, president? It has to be two evil ones? This is how twisted this system is. They beg for our vote and then proceed to kick our ass for what, four, four to eight years? And ask us to sign up for it again? These are the Indians that want to keep voting, talking about Trump. Trump. Mm-hmm. They got us playing ping pong with, with two evils. Okay, well, they don't. These Indians don't understand that we want out. They're show. They're really showing their true colors. If you're looking at Indians, uh, especially the ones that claim to have degrees and all of that, they are just too married to this system to ever even dream of a getting out. I think what they're afraid of is that. Somehow, yeah, that somewhere down the line they'll be found out for who they are. Probably agents of the Iroquois Confederacy. Mm -hmm. And I think they feel as long as colonizers here, they're protected from, from Indians. And they can try to convince us of how good colonizer really is. And all you got to do is work his system right. Well, that's called partaking in fraud, though. And we don't want that. 501c3 Indians, federally recognized Indians, Iroquois Confederacy, five civilized tribes. I learned today that it was the five civilized tribes that had slavery. 
But then again, that's what's happening. We're being blamed. They do some ratchet ass shit. And then they say all Indians was involved in, in slavery. I saw a video. I might link it in the description box. And it was uh, stated that no, that was the five civilized tribes that engaged in sl slavery. So under the colonizer spell. So in colonizer tale. You just did as the colonizer until you, he made you like him. And you done lost your damn mind. You don't even know what sovereignty is. All you think about it is in terms of codes and statutes. Look, if you don't know that you need to set yourself free, maybe you don't deserve America. Maybe you need to go live in a communist or some kind of weird ass... Uh, uh, democratic republic. What the fuck is a democratic republic? Chaos. Chaos. That's what it is. You either have a republic or you have a democracy. To have both, that's a house divided, y'all. Just as America's always been divided. My gosh, the last few uh, elections we had, Americans practically want to kill each other with this foolishness. That's how programmed we are. Believing in a system that's kicking all our tail, but mad as hell if someone votes for one of these uh, shiesty ass characters. You better stop voting. You better stop voting, y'all. Uh, if, if, if you even dream of, of having your land back, you better stop voting, y'all. Delusions. It's just delusional. But I keep. You know, thinking that this is not Indians purposely working against all Indians. When I have to really be more uh, open to the idea that, oh yeah, this is, there ain't no dummies in this house. They know exactly what they're doing, right? They know exactly where they're leading us to, back to slavery, right? Just create a corporation. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is the big answer in America, right? Because that's how they grab jurisdiction over everything and everybody. That's why they want you to create a corporation. Y'all better get out of that shit. Y'all better start thinking outside the box, yo. You, you can't use colonizers' tools to set yourself free from colonizer. They don't work against colonizer. Okay? Um, so yeah, it's just over the 30 minute mark. I think we were close for now. Um, I do have uh, a, a video planned. I just don't know what I'm going to do it. I mean, uh, you know, a re you know, a real video, not one of these, uh, dinner, um, lunchtime chats, but you know, more of a fleshed out kind of thing going on okay so uh thank you for watching we are peaceful american indians who declare and decree our lands return to us each linguistic group or each uh tribe returning back to the land that was his as designated in the linguistic map you, can, you know um and uh, if it is found that, you know, there are Iroquois in Algonquin territory, we'll deal with that later now, won't we? Because it will be a requirement for Indians to have their uh, genealogy, you know. I mean, it's not that we're going to throw Indians in jail or anything, but... I do think if we're serious, we need to place Indians back to what they had before colonization. If they uh, uh, want to, you know, in other words, um, the whole point of colonization was to get rid of some Indians, particularly the Iroquois, I mean the Algonquins. Oops, we wish, right? Uh, particularly the Algonquins, to get rid of them so that other uh, tribes that are in bed with colonizers could 
take over the resources of Algonquin land as if they never existed. This will no longer be the case as Algonquins are right here still on their territories. And if we find other, uh, you know, particularly Iroquois, because I believe it really is the Iroquois who came for Algonquin territory along with colonizer. So Iroquois will need to uh, make themselves known. And this is, you know, in the future. We're not, you know, it's no rush. First, we got to get ourselves back on track. But I do think if justice is to be served, Iroquois need to be accountable for what they have done. And I'm not talking capital punishment. I'm not, you know, I mean, we are going to try to act like we have the ancestors uh, behind us and uh, in a uh, equitable and as fair as possible way. So I think for Algonquins in particular, we would need to call for Iroquois and uh, to make themselves known on our land and our territories because we will require at minimum an apology, an official apology. What you did was above and beyond the call of duty. It was, if you are actually Indians, birthright Indians, it, this really was a travesty because it was selfish it was a crime against all Indians not just Algonquins as I always say all Indians were misclassified due to uh, Iroquois and their actions with uh, colonizer uh, they preceded the uh, five civilized tribes in this treachery uh, they were the first so, unfortunately, the Iroquois, this is what they don't want to face. But, hey, maybe we'll find that they're not actually Indians. And if that's the case, it just makes it that much more simple. You know, I was under the impression that they were a break off of Algonquins because they had no writing. That's another thing we want to talk about in a future video this mystery surrounding their lack of writing. Let's just call a thing a thing. Lack of writing. And the fact that they're named by, by Algonquins. They, they were, that, Iro, the name Iroquois, they didn't even come up with that. So it's a, quite a shock to me that they even kept it. But they must recognize that they're snakes and they felt like it was just the thing to be called snake people. You know? Uh, hmm. So, yeah, I mean, any Iroquois listening, uh, this ain't nothing but... It's called justice. And it is not the most lethal form of it because I do believe Algonquins preceded Iroquois. So what I think Algonquins will do is show these lost folks how you deal with Indians, not like how you did. Maybe you'll learn something. Um, this is coming from my heart. If people have a problem with it, I am so sorry. But I am personally affected by what the Iroquois did, just like any Algonquin who knows would be or should be. We were taken off of North America and placed in a Canada. Uh, we got very effectively removed from this <laughs> <laughs> it's like colonizer came, bumped heads with Algonquins, found our enemy, got in bed with him, and poof, <laughs> we were no longer on northeast 
or southeast woodland area. We had north and southeast woodland area. So I can only uh, presume that all of this went to Iroquois and whoever they felt like giving it to, namely colonizer. Okay, so this is um, this is just justice. It's not even a chip on my shoulder, even though I won't uh, not admit that I do have. I probably do have one, but again, there there is justice that needs to be served. And it does deal with uh, Iroquois owning up to their treachery, asking forgiveness and apologizing. They were very cleverly uh, inclined to not name the sachems that allegedly uh, got in bed with Kala. They didn't really name them. And uh, you see there that they went into hiding almost immediately, as they still are today. But then we, like uh, one uh, videographer was saying recently, uh, then you have all these quote-unquote black folks pushing us to vote de Democratic while we, for no reason at all. These must be agents of the Iroquois Confederacy because they are now black I'm, I'm convinced of it but they are living a white status due to their uh, contribution to our annihilation okay um, so yeah now we are going on 40 minute video and I'll stop here because you know I could go on and on and on with this uh, dilemma. <laughs> I'm a peaceful Indian. I don't even advocate violence against Iroquois, but I do advocate accounting, accountability for what they've done. Um, and if they are so inclined to do the bidding of colonizer, I think they should go to their uh, birthright land in Europe. <laughs> because they have effectively uh, become European, African. They have uh, lineage in Songhai, they claim. So you're telling us you're, you're a farm. Yet you want to have the same birthright that American Indians who don't claim that bullshit have? You're delusional. Especially five civilized tribes. Y'all are really on some, some craziness. You know? But again, a lot of these are, I think, storefronts. There's a bunch of uh, placeholders so that the, the, the quote-unquote black uh, members of the civilized tribe can continue to live uh, a, a lap of luxury watching all other Indians basically be genocided. How do they figure this is going to work, though? It's, it's just, what was done to us is beyond reprehensible Indians. Once you realize what the goal was, it was never about sharing. If you come and take my shit, at least share it with me. At, at the very least, have somewhat of a, of a heart, knowing that it's mine. You know, but no, we will cut out the deal completely, y'all. They were going for complete genocide, y'all. And when the ancestors realized, I think when the ancestors saw that, they were looking to take us out with these, uh, 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 shall we say, uh, gene uh, therapy shots. It, it seems like uh, our, our awakening was expedited. They crossed the line, yo. It, you, you was kicking our ass for centuries. And then you just want to like <laughs> just get rid of us, and you think that you think that it'll work well for you, killing righteous people, people who are not guilty of what you say they are guilty of. But even if they were, they wouldn't deserve what you've done. So this is all kinds of meant to come to an end, and Indians have to be much more creative in their thinking. Uh, we are very capable of creating our own, although. 
those federal 501c3 Indians insist that we are incapable. They they uh, seem to uh, have no faith in their own uh, blood alleged bloodline. So then, what good are you? I mean, what good are you if you don't even believe that Indians can have what what belongs to them? What the hell good are you to us? Really though, this is just crazy. So Indians who want their real birthright and not something that colonizer cooked up, you, we really got to, uh, you know, start saying it, writing it down, say what you want, at least have a rough draft. At some point, you know, we all take notes, compare notes, and we come up with what exactly uh, would be fitting, which is everything that belongs to us being returned to us. Um, yeah, so on that note, thank you for listening. We did go a little longer, and I, <laughs> I can tell that people don't want to watch over half an hour, but unfortunately, we did go over a little. So I thank you again. Until next time, be and stay highly favored. I decree and declare your land back, your identity back, your birthright back, and all the great things. Thank you.